Hello and welcome to episode 0 in the series on information theory. Information theory is a subfield of mathematics that studies how to communicate and store data efficiently, as well as how to quantify the amount of information and surprise that certain events hold. You should care about information theory. First of all, it is the reason that your computer works and the reason that you can watch this video. Think about it. Your hard drive stores terabytes of data and yet you rarely ever find a bit that got flipped. And it is not because there is no noise that can disrupt the data on your drive. And the same thing applies to transmission over the internet. What information theory gives you are the means to combat the noise and store as well as send data reliably. Furthermore, it still continues to revolutionize the world. You might have heard of something called a cross-entropy loss in machine learning. This is a concept from information theory. And it keeps being applied to more and more subfields of computer science. This series is meant to be an introduction to the field. And by the end of it, you will understand why information theory is so important and we'll have the basic tools to experiment with it in your work. The series will not be a formal proof for all of the theorems in information theory. Although math cannot be avoided, most theorems will be presented in a way that gives you intuition on how they work. If you are interested in a more formal way of documenting information theory, there will be links in the description to a paper by Claude Shannon and a book and lectures from David McKay on the subject. Let's have a brief overview on what topics will be covered in this series. We'll start by formalizing the concept of information. We will define what it is that we mean by information, as well as how do we measure it. Next, we will introduce entropy in information theory which will become our most important building block. In that episode, we will explain what entropy is and how it is used to measure uncertainty, surprise and information. We will follow that with entropy in case of multiple events, where we will describe joint and conditional entropy as well as a concept of mutual information. Coming up will be an episode on a communication system. There, we will create a blueprint for a general communication system. We will show an example of one, namely a binary symmetric channel, which we will analyze to further improve our intuition on the structure of communication. As we go forward, we will discuss the noiseless channel theorem where a definition of capacity will emerge alongside a way to perform efficient encoding of our data. The grand finale of the series will be the noisy channel theorem. This is the basis of communication in the modern world that establishes the capacity of a communication channel in presence of noise and defines at what rate and how can we achieve reliable and error-free communication?